Hi everybody, this is Robbie here from the Web Shack. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a portfolio page. Um, we don't generally use portfolio pages for e-commerce websites, but who knows, you might have some products, other products that you sell, services that you want to show in a nice portfolio um, you, you, a way of, of doing things. So let's start. So what I'm going to do is um, to set up a portfolio, you actually need to have a um, user custom page. Okay, so the moment I've used the two custom pages this account has, which is I've used for portfolio and about us. So um, um, you you might have an account that has up to five. So let me just go in here to portfolio. I know it's already there, but let me just show you what I've done. So you just go edit on the custom page, but in this case is the portfolio page. You can call it whatever you like, obviously. If you call it, yeah, whatever you like. And then what you do is once you're on the page, you go over here under templates. Okay, normally the template is default. You would choose portfolio. Okay, so you don't have to edit. You don't have to do anything with the page build anything. It's just we have a template where we build just called portfolio. Okay, so how the portfolio looks is all under theme settings, portfolio. And that's where you would work. That's where you work on it. We have another tutorial, um, um, and uh, uh, our theme settings tutorials, where you can see how to customize the look of that portfolio. But I'm just showing you how to create the portfolio page. Okay. So, okay, that's it. Now I'm in there. I made this the template. So now I click update, and now this page, one of your custom pages, has now become the portfolio page. Okay. So let me show you how it's done. Okay. So. Once you've saved that, what I'm going to do is I've got another tab here. Okay, sorry, it's just loading. Um, now, once I've done all my settings and the theme settings, which you have, you can go see the tutorial for that. I have another tab here called Projects. Okay, so on that portfolio page, I want to add projects. Okay, so I've got a few options. I can have categories. So let me just let me let me click on categories so I can just show you. <clears throat> okay, so I've got a few random categories. Just add another one for fun. So these are categories are to filter through your portfolio. So you must just think it up. You think what you want to do. So in like we web designers, so we would have like web design, we would have graphic design, and then when you can filter through them. So, but I'll show you now. So I've added those are the filters. And then here's all the portfolio items, if if I have any, but at the moment, okay, we do. We have some just play play ones here. Okay, so to edit an existing one, you just go edit. Kind of the same as the pages. So it just does, doesn't have a whole page builder because it's more specific. Okay, so here, um, I know it's got a whole lot of code and stuff, but you can get rid of this and you can just add some portfolio, whatever the project is that you're doing. Over here, this is where you choose where this this project, um, what category would be sitting. Okay, cool. The product name, we'll just leave as is. The, the image, this is where you would add the image of the portfolio, which I'll show you now. Um, there's a whole lot of page settings here, which I have on, um, um, you know, page settings uh, um, video. You can see that under pages as well. So we have a video on that, so you can play with that. And there we go. So that's all I really want. You can add whatever you want, add images, add a nice featured image here. Um, you just remove the image and you can add, add it from your Mac or PC or from your library. Okay, so I'm just going to save that. That's, that's, uh, that's to edit, a, edit an existing one. Okay, and then straightforward, if you want to add another another portfolio item, you just go add new. And it was exactly the same as this. Everything will just be blank. You just add your own your own categories and so on. Okay, so that's pretty simple. So now, now that's done, let me go back to pages. So now I've got some portfolio stuff. Let's take a look at the portfolio page. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over portfolio and I'm just going to go view. Okay. All right, so... This is coming up now. Um, this is my portfolio page. Okay, so there's my categories. So I can filter them like by clicking on it. Okay, so mockups only has these two. Pictures has nothing. Print, oh, not nothing. It has those two as well. Templates, print has nothing, you know, and so on. So it's quite nice. I mean, you can play around with them. And, and now if I click on the, if so like I said, I just set it up under theme settings. Um, the theme settings video about portfolio, it shows you how to edit the look of this and how you can make this different. This has the the page title, uh, which I'll show you. You could see in in the in the page the page settings video. You can get rid of this or change it and so on. Okay, so now I've got my thing. So let's just say the one that I've added. Let's just click on it. 
okay, so this is it. Um, that's all it is, basically. You remember I just added something, and there's has related product, pro, pro, uh, related projects for that portfolio item, which is quite nice as well because relay based on that category, here's some more. Okay, um, so let's just go back. Let's just click on another one. Let's click on this one. So this is one that we didn't edit. Okay, so you see, so this is all the stuff inside there. Um, some some of that, you know, some you know social media share and so on. Okay, so that's that's basically a portfolio. Um, very straightforward. Um, we another tutorial um, we'll show you how to add pages into the menu here once you're happy with your custom pages. Okay. So um, yeah, that's it. That's basically how you set up your portfolio page. Thanks very much for watching.